live from First Generation Pilots Network. We are here at Daytona Beach International Airport. Just behind me is a Cessna 172 SP. Today, we will be explaining the exterior parts and purposes on this particular aircraft. Let's get started. Here we have the aircraft's propeller. The aircraft's propeller sits 76 inches long to the front of the aircraft's engine. Now this aircraft's propeller is used to move the aircraft in a forward moving motion through the air. By definition, this will be called thrust. Here we have the aircraft's cowling. The engine cowling is used to cover up the aircraft's engine. The engine cowling is used to provide better performance for the aircraft's engine. aircraft's pedo static system. The pedo static system is used to provide reading for the aircraft's vertical speed indicator and the aircraft's altimeter. Now understand if there's any debris or any uh, tape over the pedo static system then there will be no reading provided inside the cockpit of the aircraft. Aircraft wing strut. The aircraft wing strut is used to hold up the wing on each side of this particular aircraft. Here we have the aircraft's wing. Now there is, of course, a wing on the left side, and there's also a wing on the right side of this particular aircraft. The wing's purpose is used to provide lift through air for this particular aircraft. Here we have the stall horn. Air vent. The stall horn air vent provides a loud air horn that goes off inside the cockpit of the aircraft when the, re when the aircraft reaches a speed of 40 to 50 knots. This will be typically during maneuvers such as a power off or a power on stall. Here we have the aircraft's landing gear. The aircraft's landing gear will be used for takeoffs, taxiing, and landing. Now for this particular particular aircraft, this will be called the tricycle landing gear. This is called the tricycle landing gear simply because you have your two main gears in the back, one on the left, one on the right, and you also have your nose gear at the front. Then attached to your wheels are your brakes. The brakes are attached to the inside of the left wheel and the right wheel. Now the brakes can be applied by simply pressing down on the pedals, on your rudder pedals inside the cockpit of the aircraft. 